I'm going to try this again. See if it works. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a few seconds because I just went live and then it gave me a black screen so it wasn't working. So um, I'm just gonna wait a few seconds here before I start again. That's so frustrating. Um, so basically, if you just saw that, sorry if you are here. Um, whenever you can see this, if you can give me some hearts or just, you know, let me know that I'm here or you're here. Um, I'm going to go over my thrifted haul over the last week, kind of. We actually got to go to some yard sales this past weekend on Saturday. Um, it was like a little town sale, Saturday of Easter weekend, which that's like never happened. Number one, it was su it's super early this week, this year, and it's just usually people don't have it. We have never been, been to this little town, did not find much, but found some really cool things. <laughs> found some really cool things um, that you just never know when you're going up to yard sales, what you're going to find. So go to them all. Uh, go to them all because in the back corner of a garage, you may find something pretty fantabulous. Um, I'm also going to share we're in the middle of our bathroom makeover. Like I was saying earlier, we make two steps forward and then we do 14 steps back. We had problems with the wood planks, problems with some pipes and plumbing. So it's just taken a lot longer than, um, than we anticipated. But every little thing we get done, we keep saying, why is it taking us so long? Why did we, you know, why haven't we done this sooner? But I am doing some things like to save money on some of the things I'm doing. So I thought I'd share what I'm doing um, when I do get this all done, the bathroom makeover, I will have it all with all the sources and the links to everything I got um, on the website, but I'll kind of share that, that little project and what I'm doing to get the look um, here at the end. So let's share what I found over this past kind of week. I only got to go to the thrift stores. If you guys saw in stories today, I shared, uh, yes, in stories. The podcast today that went out, I always get asked, how often do you go thrifting? And so I talked all about that today on the podcast, and that's in stories. There's a link to that. You can also, if you if you need a link for that, let me know. You can message me or leave a comment here, and I can get it to you. But I kind of talk about how often I go and how often you should go, those kinds of things. I did not get to go that often this past week. So um, one of the first things I found was... Um, okay, so let me show you. So I found this. <clears throat> and from the outside, it, some of these almost look like, um, what's the, the brand of white dishes? You know, like casserole dishes. Oh gosh, it starts with a C. But sometimes the um, they look new like this. And so this was taped down so nobody broke it. So I actually picked it up and it is the... Um, this might be backwards it is iron stone this one is stamped you can kind of see some of the here you can see it better in here amazing patina from the old can you guys see that anyway so this iron stone so one thing I, sh I should tell you guys and I don't know if I've done this before but anytime you're buying anything like this I did share in a reel when you find things like this um, one of them that I found, it had beautiful, like crazing all around it. And I want to say it was blue and white. Um, but so I was looking all around it and when there's a pattern, this one doesn't have a pattern. It's sometimes harder to find or harder to see, but always look over it with like a fine tooth comb. And so first of all, hopefully you have a cart in a thrift store because you, you if you're even thinking about something, put it in your cart. So as I was shopping, I set this in my cart and then before I bought it, I took the lid off and if you just run your fingers around, it doesn't even have to be ironstone. It could be like any, you know, like ceramic dish or like even like a pioneer woman dish or you know what I mean? Anything like that that you're buying. Run your fingers around the edge. Sometimes it's hard to see chips and things, you know, um, with your eyes. But if you run, so I did, I did it flat like this and then I kind of go on the sides you know, same down here. And some of the ironstone I pick up, um, depending on what the piece is, you know, if there's a chip here or there and I'm just going to use it, you know, to display, like not cook with, it, not have food or anything in it, um, I'm fine with that. But anyway, you just kind of want to do that on all the pieces, um, especially if there's a lid, lid. I could not believe this one had the lid. 
um, you just kind of want to see if there's any chips. And if you just feel around it, sometimes that just helps because you can't sometimes see all the chips, especially if there is, um, it was in a, re I, know, I, sh I know I shared it here. It was a thrifting reel that I shared and um, it was so pretty. It was, and what I loved about it was like the worn crazed um, look on it. And I don't think it was Ironstone. Ironstone. Uh, but as I got closer to it, I mean, I was really looking at it and it's, as I was filming, you could see barely a crack all the way down, like the lid. Um, so just, that's just one way to do it. Just run your hand around it. You'll feel any cracks. Um, but, but always do that. I found these really tiny, they're tiny. They're like mini, mini terracotta pots. They've got a good patina on them. Um, these are marble little like bud vases. What? They are so cool. Heavy marble little bud vases. Oh, I loved those. Okay, what else did I find thrifting? Okay. So these things I have all found thrifting. Look at this. Oh, great. We're going to have a glare from the window. So I'll kind of walk this way. <laughs> Maybe there won't be so much of a glare. Um, the last time they had one of these, and I should look it up. I did not um, use my Google app. Uh, and I have shared that here. So if you're not using that today on the, my website, mycreativedays.com, I, I, um, I go through the five things that I always have with me when I'm thrifting, thrifting, yard sailing, estate sailing. You have to have these five things with you at all times. And it's going to make your, your haul so much better. It's going to ensure that you get the right things. But, um, so go to the website today, mycreativedays.com. You just scroll down. Um, and then you'll see it. It's the five items that I carry with me every single thrifting trip. But anyway, so I haven't looked this up, but I know last time this same store had one of these, they marked it up so crazy. It was up in the case. If you guys go thrifting, you know what I mean, right? Um, yes, thank you for sprinkling. I think I just saw somebody said sprinkled. Thank you so much. That means the world. Thank you so much. But anyway, it was up in the case and it was like crazy expensive. I'm like, what is this thing? but it was something like this. So I'll have to look it up. I mean, I don't think it's like a fine print or anything, but the, when you're looking um, for like art and old, you know, old kind of art at the thrift stores, look at the frame. The frame is gonna tell you, I wish I could show you this. We're just using, we're gonna act like this is another frame. So like if I was at a thrift store and this frame, this is gonna be a frame picture, and I saw this just peeking out over it. I'm going straight to this thing. Just by the frame alone. This could be a brand new, a brand new something that you can get from Home Goods, which is great too. But what is this? Okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna notice this. So always go through the frame section. And again, it's nothing that has to take long. You can, I can like see a stack of frames. And within 10 seconds, know if there's something in there I need to grab just by looking at this. And they're going to be all different sizes. But um, but yeah, so that, I grabbed this guy. I actually wanted another one for, um, and always the back, the back will tell you too, like it's older. Um, so somebody probably took this off to see if there was like the Declaration of Independence. I swear. They take the backs off. I don't get it. Um, I kind of wanted something like this, not necessarily this, but, uh, so I grabbed that. Okay. Let me kind of, these things over here. Okay. The next items I found at the yard sales, this is the first, well, I don't know if it was the first thing, but I grabbed this guy. Now this I think is a target piece, but just looks like a natural, I mean, it is like a natural wood tray. And I love the size. It's thin, you know, so it's not going to take up a lot of space, but perfect for remotes um, and those kinds of things. Scrabble pieces would be great in this too, sitting on a coffee table or shelf. But I grabbed that. And then I grabbed 
this guy. You guys will have to tell me what you think this is. Matt and I had, <clears throat> Matt and I had our thoughts. So what do you guys think this is? I'm gonna kind of, so it's like finished here on the end. You know what I mean? Finished, it's not like it's cut off, but what do you guys think this thing is? So, do you think it's a piece from an old sled or something? I don't know, like the first, wouldn't it be really cute just hung on the wall like this? You could use this as a shelf, but you could also extend this a little bit more, um, you know, put a, an old piece of wood so then you actually have two shelves. It'd be perfect as a shelving unit on a, on a wall. It'd be perfect just hung like this. Either way, you could totally hang it. I love like it's got the metal here. But it's really short. Again, it's small, so I love it. But it's small. So I don't know if it was a tiny, tiny sled. Oh my gosh. It, this just makes me excited for yard sales to like fully be here. Okay. And this, so we have, are you going to turn? Yeah. So we have some old sinks that I really want to put downstairs in our it's kind of like our bathroom laundry area down here in the lower level. And I mean, I just love this kind of stuff. Obviously, you could put this in the yard. You could totally, you know, run a fountain through it. You could, um, but we are thinking we have, like we have some old cast iron, you know, like the old farmhouse sinks um, that we were hoping that we could maybe get this to work. We don't know. But these are the kinds of sales I love because the guy, when I see stuff like this and nothing was priced, and like this guy's cleaning out his old shed. And so <clears throat> I wish he would have just had a little bit more stuff because I think we would have really made out there. But this was the only thing uh, that we got there. But I just, I love old um, pieces like this. And like I said, we've got the old sinks that we were wondering if we could make it work. Who knows? It would be cute. Like I one of the old sinks, we have it kind of sitting up out there. It would be really cute, just full of um, like flowers. Um, and then if you did just set this up, you know, if it could, didn't work, but you'd still get the look. Do you know what I mean? I love that kind of stuff. Okay, I also picked up this little guy. Um, it's greenish, but it's kind of, again, this is perfect for a coffee table, um, you know, well, all kinds of things. This would be cute for the kids. You could put like, um, what am I trying to say? Like pails and things in here. I used to do stuff like that all the time. So I would have caddies like this. Think of like your cleaning caddy, but for the kids. So if it was a certain kind of art project or something, I could fill this up with whatever we needed and then I would just set this in the middle of the table. Or I would have different ones of these that were just markers or just, um, the kids used to love to do those. What are they called? We call them iron on like the perler beads where you have those little beads and you stick them on and then you iron them. And if you knock it once, they're all over the place. Yeah, that fun activity. Yeah, so anyway, so things like that. I love, these are just good, versatile pieces. And this is a really good color. I'm saving the best for last. I grabbed this guy. So again, these are really great. I love the thick, the thick, um, handle you can hang these anywhere and you can take this off and then leave the back up and put faux flowers in them you could leave it just like this and have the flowers coming out and just hang it somewhere um, in your house for spring and summer but I grabbed that and always 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 tell me what your favorite item is that I'm sharing because I always like to see now this <laughs> I cannot believe this. So, so I was in, Matt was with me and Matt actually found them. So we went into a yard sale uh, and it, there was stuff in the driveway. And then as we were going in, I'm like, oh, it's a lot of kids clothes. And like you could kind of tell, but these two guys were standing kind of back there. And I thought they were looking at a table full of kids clothes, kind of, but underneath there were some kind of machines. Like, I don't know if they were tools or something, but you could tell that's what they were looking at. And right to the right of them, Matt was coming up the right and I was on the left. Matt's like, oh my gosh. And he just 
took off and grabbed these things. Um, it's good if you have a buddy <laughs> to go with you because they know exactly what you're looking for and what you would die for. And thank God these guys had weren't even looking at this. They weren't even looking. You guys. What is you? <laughs> it's a pair of old corbels. You guys. <laughs> what? They were, they were both in this. A garage sale that had kids clothes. You guys, they, they put them together. So I'm gonna, if you guys love this stuff, stuff, show some hearts or show some, do you guys, thumbs up. Do you guys love this kind of stuff? When we redid our kitchen, um, I really wanted to, we have a peninsula. And so I really wanted some old corbels to go kind of to hold, hold our peninsula up, you know, the, the countertop. But I'm like, we would go into antique stores and I'm like, no way, no, no. So we just got like wood, you know what I mean? Like the newer ones and stained them. You, and do you see how big they are? I'm, I mean, they're massive. I about died. Matt's, and Matt's so funny. Like I, I couldn't tell if he was joking, but he's like, like, you want these? I have not even taken them apart. I was gonna take them apart to show you guys. I immediately start thinking like, were these off of a house? Were these off of a building, um, a porch? Like, tell me all the things. Like, I just love that stuff. Um, do you guys love this stuff? Yes, they are all, they are all wood. I'm going to take this apart to show you. I just saw somebody ask, are they wood? Heck yes. I'm making a mess. Look at this. You guys. <laughs> ah! I mean, you can do so much with these. So this would be my third pair that I have. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just wondering. I wouldn't want to sand. So this is kind of, I can kind of show you guys how my, what my thought process is. Um, so if you look here, it's like chipping, like great. But if you were to sand it, the wood wouldn't look like this, which is what you love. Cause I'm like, maybe I would just like them wood. Um, oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> I could, I could not believe this. So moral of the story is look at these um go to every garage sale even if like I get a lot of things that'll say oh we just have kids clothes that's all I ever see baby's clothes baby clothes that's what this was I mean there was some stuff like I said out on the driveway but then when we got in I'm like well those guys are looking at kids clothes you know it was just tables of kids clothes and this was just parked at the right side of the kids clothes just chilling there on the ground. So that was exciting. That was worth it. We always, when we go to these town wide sales, this one is about, <clears throat> I'd say about 45 minutes, 50 minutes away from where we live. And so we always get in the car and was that worth it? Would you come back? So I only found one, two, I think I do have some old books um, that I didn't bring down. One, two, three, four, Some reason I was thinking. So I didn't find a ton of things there, but it was, it was well worth it. And sometimes you'll go to citywide, we call them citywides or townwide sales, and they'll be horrible one year. And the next year you're like, oh my gosh, where were all these people last year? Because it was amazing. So it's, it's hit, <clears throat> hit or miss, just like every yard sale, just like every thrift store. Um, but that was so much fun. Okay, so you guys have to let me know. Give me hearts if you guys like these kind of hauls. Do you guys like those wood wood um, corbels. What was your favorite item that I shared? I'm going to kind of go into what I'm doing in our bathroom to kind of get the look of some old kind of brass. Brass is hard. Brass is hard when you are trying to, um, I would tell you to do salvage, like go to a salvage store, restore to find like real brass. But I mean, there are definitely some things you can do to find, to get the look of brass you know, but 
So anyway, so here, here's, here's the deal. <laughs> so this was the light fixture that we had hanging in our bathroom before. Um, it fits there good, I know. Uh, the light fixtures that I was finding, they were well, like, that I really liked. They were like $125 to $135. I mean, not like thousands of dollars, but yet I'm like, I don't know if it's that, you know, if it's that if it's that serious for me right now. So what I am trying to do is I'm trying to do, because some of the ones I love, they're exactly this. They have a back plate, they have this curve up and over, and then they have the lights. So I'm like, that's basically what I have. This was black before. And so I'm like, let me just see if I can recreate it first. So that, so like, if you have nothing to lose, you've got spray paint on hand and some other products on hand or whatever that you can, you know, just try first, do that because number one, you're going to learn a lot. Number two, you may come away with something that's a, so much cheaper and it's going to give you a better look and something that you know for sure is going to fit, if that makes sense. So try to find brass spray paint that you love <laughs> or that's the right color without having to buy them all and literally spray them. Oh my gosh. So I've been going to the different local um, home improvement stores and I just, everything just looked really too gold. And so I'm like, I just don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy it because I just don't think that's it. I'll just wait and see if it comes in stock. So then I came down here to my stash and this was not there. This was, um, this one's called Antique Brass. And that is kind of the color I'm looking for, but yet a little more gold. So and I should have done this before I kind of did all this, but this is how my projects go. So if I can show you, when here's another thing. The vanity that we bought came with silver knobs. And so you can always change the color of knobs. You can always add new knobs. So um, I didn't want silver. So we are going with kind of a brass colored faucet. And so I wanted brass knobs. So I was just gonna spray paint the knobs it came with, and I'm sure we have like old brass knobs in our stash too, but I just, I'm just doing this to kind of see where I end up. So when I sprayed the silver knobs this color, that's exactly what I got. It's too brown for what I'm looking for. So I want it like the old, kind of think old European brass, if that makes sense. So I needed to add a little more gold, but some movement in it. I say that, that's just my, that is not like the terminology. That's just my terminology. Like I didn't want it stark brass. Does that make sense? Like I didn't want it. So what I did was I sprayed, this light fixture was black, remember? And then these were silver. So it doesn't matter with what you're starting with. So I sprayed everything with this, this initial thing, and it gave me brown brown brass. And so what I'm doing now, I have one knob to do, I saved it, is I am now taking my rub and buff. And this is another one that it's like, I would have never chose gold leaf in my life because that's going to be way too gold, like too bright, right? But it's exactly what I needed for this color. <clears throat> and so rub and buff, Some sometimes I wear gloves, but this is just a really small, we're just going to go with this. So rub and buff, this color is gold, but yet, which knob have I not done? It's just going to, and let me just kind of rub that off a little bit, a little bit. It's just giving me a, just more of that kind of, not brown, but yet more brassy, see? but yet you're gonna get some of that brown popping through. And it kind of did that with the black spray paint. So when, what, this, it just worked out so perfect. So of course we're working at night when, you know, trying to get these projects done and you can't tell like how, <laughs> how good your spray paint has covered. You think you have it all covered. So anyway, now it's more, oh, that sunlight's not gonna. So it's just more of that, not brown, but just like that old world brass. You can kind of see up here because I'm still working on this. But so like up here, it wasn't fully covered with spray, spray paint. So some of that black was popping through, but that's exactly the kind of look I wanted. The black with the gold, um, 
rub and buff. And then this color, like all together kind of came. And when I lay the, uh, the brass um, faucet, when I laid it on here after I got this done, you couldn't tell the difference. It looked like you bought the two together. So anyway, I was so excited. Sometimes these DIY projects, they just take a lot of trial and error or, and I know with spray paint, you're like trial and error, you can't take it off. No, and if I, I mean, if it all went to kaput, <laughs> I could have just spray painted this all black again or whatever, whatever color. Um, and we could have used it in a flip house um, or whatever, but I'm like, I am gonna go for it now. Um, so the bulb, the globes that I want, they are, they're not cheap. Nothing is right now, but it's, uh, they're like $10 a piece. So I had these supplies on hand. Um, and these are supplies I will use over and over and over again on tons of projects. So these kinds of things, I always feel like they pay for themselves tenfold because you can get so much use out of them. So it will be basically $30. And I, and then Matt said we have them. I wanted to use clear bulbs instead of like the normal, you know, light bulbs. Matt said we had those too. So, so for $30 instead of $130, we're going to see. But it's exactly, it just gives me that kind of, you know, kind of like old world brass. Does that make sense? Look, so use what you have first and see if you can save some money and get the look you want. Um, because this totally, totally worked. I mean, so far, I don't have it up on the wall yet, but, but yeah. Okay. I'm going to see, are, do you guys have any questions? Um, let me know if you have any questions, share this with friends. If, if this kind of, these little projects are helpful, the thrifting hauls, what I pick up, what I look for, what I use them for the rub and buff. Do you want to see it? show what the rub and buff looks like this or do you want to see it like um out of the tube Tell, let me know um thanks barb it's it gave me i couldn't believe it have you tried adding a contrast color with a slightly damp sponge and blend penny are you talking about with spray paint no thank you so much melindia thank you so much the tube. Yep, the tube. And this, I always, I can give you guys a link for this if you need it. I always get the, 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 um, what am I going to say? The one that has them all in there <laughs> because, uh, because it, you just never know, depending on the project, you just never know. Cause this like on, let's just say like that wood frame I got, I would never cover that up, but like that just may be way too gold. My favorite is the European gold. I think that's what it's called, European gold. That's the one that I, I, I gravitate towards. And that's the one that I put on this first. And I'm like, no, like instantly I knew that wasn't it. So, okay, I'm just checking for, for any questions. Show the Robin Buff. Yeah, it, it worked perfectly. And, you know, I can do paint colors all day long. Like I can mix paint colors, but sometimes when you're spraying paint, spray paint, it's like, you get what you get, right? There's not, it's not that flexible. And so, but just not having all of the black covered, it just kind of just made it. Sherry, it's so fun to see what other people find. I think it is so fun. Thank you so much, Kim, for sharing. Thank you. The corbels for sure. The corbels and the faucet. Yes. The marble flower. Yes. Aren't these... I was like, what? Marble, like marble, this right here, like this. I could just add all of these together. Marble, wood, like the chippy paint, the old metal, like all these things together, the ironstone, the white ironstone, like it just makes me. Townwide sales are the most fun, Lisa because you can hit so many, but again, I get like, you know, it's like, you never know where to start. If you go to them, you're kind of get your favorite area to go or whatever, but when you don't know what to, where to start and then you, there's people there before you and you're like, just, just go home till I go through them all. And then I want to, so a lot of you guys said the old faucet, that is your favorite. Okay. I wouldn't, I'd leave them as is. Kim, what did I say? What was I? Oh, the corbels. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah. 
Yes, the sled is cool. So, I mean, you could obviously use this all year round, um, definitely, but obviously at Christmas time for sure. Bring it out and like put your old Santa mugs, your vintage Santa mugs on there. Anybody have those? I have a slight obsession. Yes, I'd love to put cookbooks maybe between them if they were small ones. Um, the corbels, yeah, they look really cool on a shelf, like as bookends or something. Yes, they are. Uh, yes, always get out of the car. Kyle Taylor said, don't just drive by a garage sale. Always get out of the car. You know, and sometimes I, I find too, like when people will say, all it is is kid stuff. Well, sometimes when people are, you know, they start having kids and growing their family, like, they don't want this old stuff in their homes or just laying around. And so they're cleaning that stuff out. Or you have a young family that has a lot of kids stuff and grandma brought some stuff, you know, that she wanted to sell or the great aunt, you know, dropped off some stuff or a friend dropped off some stuff and has a little table in the back of the garage. Like you just never know. Um, so, so definitely, definitely. And if it is all kids stuff, I mean, it takes you literally under a minute to walk through it. Yes, they are wood corbels. Um, I'm wanting some for my kitchen to go under the cabinet. So if you guys are looking for corbels, I would definitely say if you have antique stores in your area, I would definitely say um, stop by those or kind of like a salvage store or a like we have one that's kind of like 30, 40 minutes away from us that I would definitely go to if I like, you know, wanted to you, you're going to pay for it. But at those kinds of stores, you're paying for them doing all the leg work, work and the footwork for you. They're out hunting for it. So you are going to pay for that. Um, or also check like Etsy, um, maybe eBay too. Um, the green tray basket and corbels. Yeah, that basket is cute. It's, it's obviously homemade, probably made just some, from some scrap wood, but... Rebecca, I about died. And so let me just, if you guys get this, you get this. You act like you're not dying, right? You, you play it cool and calm the whole time. As Matt's grabbing those, and he's like, they're corbels. Like, do you want them? I'm like, oh. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. We'll go ahead and get those. You know, like inside, you're like, so like he's paying for things, and I'm like out in the car dying because I didn't really get to give him a good look. I mean, you can tell what they are, and like they're chippy and perfect, but I was like, he gets in the car, and I'm like, oh my God, I cannot believe you found those, and definitely not at that sale. I would have never guessed they had anything like that. Um, we are normal. We are normal. And these kinds of things, this is why I like to decorate like this. I did not spend a lot of money and I have one of a kind things for our home. Or I do also, I do sell some of my finds on my um, shop, which is, um, I don't have that linked because I, I don't have anything linked or anything on this one because I had to restart this video. But on Wednesdays at noon central time, I add new things to my shop. And so it's fun to be able to buy a little bit extra. You know, if I, I don't want to buy things just to buy things, but now that I have this shop page, I get to pick up extra things for, for you guys to shop as well. So fishing creel, is that what that's called, Barb? I knew it was like a fishing basket. I didn't know, I, I've never heard creel, so that's cool. The fishing basket, yes. My neighbor did a cool thing with an old sink faucet base. It's set up outside <clears throat> the house next to a hose faucet. He hooks it up in the summer to use as an outside sink to walk. Yes. So we've thought about doing that too. I would love Sarah. I don't know if you have a photo. Um, <laughs> creep over to the neighbor's yard and get a photo. Um, but to add that in the comments, that would be really cool to see. It's kind of fun when you've got the things. And Matt and I have gone back and forth with what to do um, with these old farmhouse sinks we have. Um, but that's definitely an idea we've had. But it's fun to it's fun to uh, see how other people have done it, so you can get some ideas. Green is my favorite color, and I all shades, all shades. Yes, this would be perfect to hold. So I'll let me hold this up. This would be whoa, perfect to hold paper plates. Yes, um, for a cookout or something. Oh my gosh. 
I'd love to do a business of cleaning out people's barns and storage buildings and sheds. We have had the chance to do that a few times and I will tell you, it's one of our favorite, favorite things to do. We're a little like, you know, the whole paying thing and how that works, but like crawling in them. Now listen, I'm not, Matt's more gung-ho with that part, but I mean, he'll crawl through and under things that, mm -mm, I couldn't do that. Like if I saw something crawling or something, but <laughs> again, he's, he's a good yin to my yang because, um, but that is, we still talk about those, those, um, getting to pick those so cool. The things that we have found inside those barns and stuff. And then the people we've met through it. Yes, definitely. I love putting bundles together at sales like this. Yes, Kim, I just wish like a couple of more of these had a lot more stuff and then we would have made piles for sure, but they just didn't. Many sleds that size would have a larger, taller box attached to the top. They were used to move stuff like firewood or groceries from what? From walking to and from the local store. Are you kidding? I need to look this up. I need to use that app because that, because Matt could, we have a lot of old wood. He could, I even just, I mean, I love it like this because it's definitely usable in any space, but we could definitely do that. That's really cool. Yeah, because this, I mean, I'm saying toddler size. I, I don't know if you can tell here what, where, how I am, but toddler, like not an eight-year-old. I'm saying toddler would have to be. And sitting, you know, it, it, it's not that big. That's awesome, though, to know that. The faucet. Child sled. That's what I said. Somebody else said used to tote firewood. Or to haul ice. Does anybody know my obsession with ice? Oh, gosh. It's an obsession. Seen them at a farm for hauling a bale. Lower cabinet step ladder, like from a farm kitchen. I don't think so because we, it's like this. See what I mean? It, it's definitely, and they go all the way down and around. So it's like, it's like you've got the full thing, but yet you can tell there was something on here. Um, if that makes sense. Runners from a sled, looks like an old sled, yes. Baby sled. Yeah, I think so too. But maybe it was like a hauling thing. Yes, the back, Kim, probably checking for money in the back of the frame. I know that's what they're doing, but it's like they will ruin them. And I, I think a lot of it, I mean, I shouldn't say, but like in a lot of it may be happening before things are put onto the shelves at the thrift stores, um, like in the back room, unless every single person that ever drops off an old frame is looking in there first. I don't know. They're looking for something, obviously, or some kind of marking or something. But, uh, but yeah. Ah, oh, very cool Monday off Lake Erie, as usual, great finds. Oh my gosh, Lake Erie. Why am I thinking? I won't go down that way. I won't go on that whole story. I don't think it's Lake Erie that we used to, Lake Vermilion. Uh, my aunt and uncle have a cabin there. And so we used to go there and grow. Um, that's way up north though. Way, way, way. Nova Scotia. Hello. Cool and sunny today. It, yeah, we've got sunshine, but it's cold. Um, yes, corning. Do you mean corning? Yes. So this is, this is ironstone, but some of it, like you'll look at it and you're kind of like, oh, that looks like a new piece. Like corning. Yes, those. So always check. Always check. Um the bottoms. And if you guys saw my reel for the thrifted haul, I found a hole. They had brought the carts out and more ironstone, more ironstone dishes. There was not a full set. Um, okay. I'm going to go back all the way down to the end. There was not a full set, but they had like dinner plate size. They had some, a few bowls and a few, uh, uh, like smaller plates. I love the sled as a shelf year round. Yep, definitely. We had a small porcelain sink we installed in our upper yard and used as a bird bath. Just joined in. Can I see your goodies? Yeah, I'll run through them again here for anybody that is just um, 
Rebecca, if you do get it up and running in your greenhouse soon, will you share a photo? Um, in the Amish, we do live not here. It's about probably 50 minutes away. There's Amish around us. Yep, I will definitely do another quick. Um, some men don't get it. Yes, Matt does though. Thank goodness. Yes, try not to knock people down to get it. Yes. <laughs> like you try to act cool and like, you know, but you know exactly what you're going up there to get or like, yeah, yeah. Um, just checked out your five must-haves. Never knew about that app. Kim, yes, it's, once you start using that, I swear, you will walk around your house, you will never stop using it. Um, okay, I just want to make sure, I will go through, I love the old wash tubs on stands. Yes, those are cool too for like planted pots. Yep, my mother-in-law says she grew up with that stuff and doesn't like it. I need all the Santa mugs, me too. Love to fill it with shells, the wooden, yes, that would be cool. So I will do, um, so is it Lori? Um, how many times do you go to the thrift stores? That's actually up on the podcast today. Um, I talk all about that. And do you go to the Goodwill? Yes, Goodwill is one of the stores that I do go to. Yes, you can paint. Paint is my number one DIY like tool and thing that is going to make the biggest difference for the least amount of money. So no matter what it is, if you're painting a light fixture like this, you're painting, you know, art or you're painting a wall. It's the, um, yes, mix old with the new. It's the cheap, biggest bang for your buck. <clears throat> I love marble anything. Thank you, Mary Lee. Does it matter what finish the back has? To what, Melinda? I'm sorry, I don't know. Cleaning your craft room, good for you. Purge, purge as you go. Whatever you're not using, purge and get rid of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go through now what um, an old stationary laundry tubs, love that. Yes, to go on a thrifting trip, you guys, please tell me, wouldn't that be so exciting? It would be fun to thrift across America get a get a get an RV or something and then haul a U-Haul or whatever behind us and then I would love because I love I hear it, people say it all the time we don't have thrift, thrift stores like you do um and they're not always good here um thrift stores yard sales it would just be so fun to do that across like America hearts if, would you guys get on that <laughs> would you guys get on that take that trip wouldn't that be so much fun I also would love to someday we have talked about this to have some kind of a place here where people could come here and then I would take you out where I go um, as part of like your trip here because I hear so often that you you don't have thrift, thrift stores like we do and I would just love to take you around my route, show you some of the different places. We could even travel travel like 30 to 45 minutes away and I could show you some more places. Does that sound like fun? Is that something that you guys, give me some hearts if that's something that you guys would be interested in grandfather had a sled like that to haul buckets to and from his maple trees tapping them oh okay okay here we go I, I see some more things and I will um okay you guys would be interested in that would that be so much fun oh my gosh I I would just have to be like you can't pick up anything nothing here you're just taking everybody in here but I would definitely help you shop I would definitely help you shop <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna run through quick some of the things or all the things here that I found. There's not that much. So this piece, it's gotta be a piece of a sled. This is one of the things that I got. You could turn this into a shelf for sure, um, hang it up all year or just use it for use it for the holiday season. Um, okay, I also got this old faucet. It's still, and it's got the soap dish. We do have a couple of old like farmhouse sinks and Matt was thinking this was going to fit one of them. Don't know for sure yet. We haven't gotten it out to check, but I got these marble little bud vases. Oh, just love marble anything. I got these mini, I have no green thumb, but I love terracotta pots, especially the old ones that have been around a while. And these are like mini, mini, really tiny. So I grabbed those. I grabbed this wood tray like this natural piece of goodness. I think Target had these, um, I mean, but 
again, this is so people are saying to put seashells in here. You could do um, Scrabble tiles. You could, I mean, you could do so much with this. It's good to hold remo remotes and stuff on your coffee table. I can't believe I found some iron stone with the lid and I was kind of, you'll have to go back and watch. I was just kind of sharing. I don't want to drop this. It's got the stamp. Um, how to make sure there's no chips because sometimes you miss the chips with your eyes. Like you don't see them. And then I got this like, if a, a gathering basket, wood basket is what I would really call it. But uh, this wood caddy, you can use it for anything. So many uses. I grabbed this little fishing basket. This with the strap. And then um, I grabbed this. I gotta kind of move this way so the glare. This old, there is a name down here. I, I mean, it's not, it says R. Atkins. I don't know if you guys can see that. I just love the frame. Again, the size, it's not going to take up a huge, you don't need like a huge wall. And then look how, just how colorful it is. So I grabbed that as well. Stay. <laughs> and I think, oh, oh. <laughs> and then I found a pair of, Matt found a pair of wood old corbels at the yard sales by the kids clothes. What is even happening? So grab those as well. Okay. Yes, and always, if you guys ever come on and you know, you've come on late and then you want me to run through them again, I'd be happy to do that. Oh my gosh, listen to this story, you guys. An old ottoman was sold at our local resale store. The new owner found $46 hidden inside. She gave it back to the original owner who donated it. That's awesome. You never know, like my grandpa, <laughs> after he passed away, you guys, they, I mean, he had money hidden. And I know that's like that, um, like that generation, he had money hidden. And when I say like you, they had to check every can in every cupboard. And I mean, he had money everywhere. And you, you literally, I mean, you couldn't, you had to clean every inch of his house before they were like cleaning it out to, or getting it ready to sell. They had an estate sale, but they couldn't like, you know, put a can of nails or whatever it is out for the estate sale because unless they went through, took all the nails out because they would find money. So it's just, it's crazy. And I know that's why people are taking this stuff off of the, I get it, but sometimes they really damage the back of those, um, the frames and stuff. So I just wish they would be more careful. <laughs> Oh, would love to have an old sink for my laundry room. Whoops, Jody, that's kind of where we are right now, but we're thinking where our bathroom is, like our bathroom shares with our laundry room down in the lower level, but we think that the sinks that we have are gonna be too big and too heavy. We were actually just at Lowe's though, and maybe for this house, they do have one there that, um, it's kind of got a nice like vanity on the bottom, but there's a stainless steel sink in there that's really big. Um, so I'm actually, and I'll share it with you if we decide to do it and it's going to fit. I don't know if it is going to, but um, that's where Gabrielle and I always clean off like our paint brushes and stuff when she's working on her projects. And so to have a bigger, deeper sink would be amazing because we just have a normal like bathroom sink in there and it's so tiny. Um, so even to like scrub clothes, if you have a stain on it or something, it would just be nice to have a bigger, deeper sink to get in there. Okay. Okay. I think that's everything. Depression glass because, oh gosh, I have somebody that's trying to get a hold of me. Um, if you go to my website today, Lisa, go to mycreativedays.com and um, go to the post where it says the five items I always have to have on hand when I'm thrifting. You will find it in there. Um, yeah, you won't live without it. So, um, I will come back in if you're watching it on replay. Leave me questions. Let me know what your favorite item was. If these, if you love these videos or they're helpful, um, the tips I share, the things I do, or the hauls, please share them. Um, that means the world to me. So um, until next time, have a great Monday, guys.